So I'll tell you a little bit about the project uh, that we're here to celebrate. Um, it originates here, and it's a six-mile transmission line between this location right behind me and Corona, Queens. And at each end, at this substation and at Corona, in addition to the cable that we ran, we had to prepare and install equipment at the stations, and that's behind me. And the equipment at these uh, stations are quite large, sort of big, as big as a house behind me. And so the team did incredible work there. This project is one of three projects that we'll complete over the next few years. Uh, we call them our Reliable Clean Cities projects. And each of them are transmission lines. They operate at 138,000 volts. And they allow for the retirement of peaker plants. And peaker plants are, are typically older fossil fuel burning plants uh, with high emissions. And so these transmission projects will allow us to retire those third-party owned peaker plants and allow us to uh, deliver clean electricity uh, to the residents of Queens and this great city. Just this week, we energized earlier this week and we internally celebrated, we get to accelerate with uh, you folks here uh, but just this week, coinciding with the energization of this project was the retirement of a Peaker plant in Astoria. And that's what uh, the project was aimed to do. So the retirement of that plant and other Peaker plants to follow um, will reduce carbon emissions and help uh, the urgent fight uh, against climate change. Um, the retirements also move the state much more closely to meeting the environmental goals of the Climate Leadership and Community Protection Act, CLCPA, quite a mouthful. Um, our grid is under, undergoing incredible change right now, so uh, more and more renewables will be added to the grid. So you think about offshore wind, uh, lots of offshore wind coming into New York City and the surrounding area and solar. I was talking, um, Queens uh, beats the band in terms of solar, rooftop solar. Um, in, in our service territory, about 500 megawatts of solar on roofs, 55,000 customers have engaged. So it really speaks to the interest uh, of our customer base in moving the needle uh, on climate change. So we'll, we'll, we'll take in much more renewable energy. At the same time, the demand for electricity is going to grow significantly. And the driver for that growth is both the electrification of heating as we move away from oil and natural gas onto heat pumps, and we've got lots of programs to encourage that, and also transportation. Uh, people are going to be charging their electric vehicles off the grid, so we're going to have to build the grid out to meet that demand. So more renewables in, more demand coming in as well, and that's what this transition is all about. Um, these projects, this one and the two that will follow, and a number of other projects uh, in the plans will help deliver that clean power to the growing needs of New Yorkers. Um, these actions are just a few of the steps we're taking at Con Edison to lower carbon emissions, support the environmental goals of New York State and New York City, and frankly, the city and the state are leaning in, uh, if you look across the nation, um, really setting the example for what can be and if you can do it in New York, you can really uh, uh, set a leadership place for all of us. We are determined to keep our city a safe, sustainable place to live, work, visit, and enjoy. Um, so thanks again for coming out. You can sense I'm excited about the project. This is the first of my, many. Uh, appreciate everybody's efforts in getting it done. Uh, and now I'll call up um, PSC Chair Rory Christian uh, to the podium. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. So I don't think I can say what I'm going to say any better than what Tim just shared. Uh, he quite literally copied my speech. Um, but everything he said is spot on. And you know, I'm really excited not only to see all the people from Con Ed here who have worked on this project. And I know this is not the whole group. But I really want to take a moment and thank you all for your hard work and dedication in doing this project. Can you get a round of applause, please? You are literally the foundation behind what we're going to be doing over the next 20 years to address a long history of injustice that the energy system has done on various parts of the state of New York. And just behind us, you know, we have this lovely project. Um, Tim talked about all the various things it's going to be doing, but I want to highlight something a little further away. Big Alice and the smokestacks of Ravenswood. When those plants were built in 1963, they ran on coal. 
take that into perspective for a moment. Just not even a mile away from here is one of the largest public housing complexes in the state of New York, Queensbridge Houses. So at some point, someone thought it was a really brilliant idea to put a coal-fired power plant in the urban center within walking distance of a significant group of our citizens. We're not making mistakes like that anymore. And in fact, this project highlights the efforts we're taking to make sure that we are not in a position to ever repeat mistakes like that again. We're going to be bringing in tremendous amounts of clean energy, not just through here, but through other projects that Con Ed and other utilities in the state are putting forward. And these efforts are going to transform not just how we use the energy, but the way we use the energy and the environmental impacts of the energy we use. So I'm really happy to be here today because, as I mentioned, this is the first of what will be three projects like it. And I'm excited by the opportunity it represents to provide us with cleaner air and cleaner environment and a cleaner community. So thank you all. I appreciate you all being here. And I'm going to pass it on to Donovan. Thank you. Thank you. Well, good morning, Queens. Are we ready for some renewable energy or what? It's great to be here today as we celebrate yet another step in Queens transformation into a global clean energy leader. And as Tim alluded to, more solar panel installations happen right here in Queens than anywhere else in New York City. So we tip our hat to Con Ed, to our partners. And of course, we're seeing record levels of EV charging stations. And I actually, when I was in the council for a brief moment, seven years, uh, chaired the Environmental Protection Committee and I passed uh, uh, the Green Roofs Bill, which mandates every building in New York City that's 25,000 square feet and up to either have a solar panel, a green roof, or a wind turbine on it. So we're seeing the fruit of our labor actually today. The completion of the Queen's leg of Con Edison's Reliable Clean City Project is really going to set the stage for transformation. Because when we talk about retiring pika plants, which is what we're doing in Astoria, we have to have the infrastructure in place to actually transition to clean energy. This project ensures electricity, electricity service can continue after the pika plant's retirement and that we can seamlessly connect our electrical grid to new energy sources in the future. This $800 million line can carry up to 300 megawatts of power, as Tim alluded to, enough to power much of Western Queens. And we are incredibly grateful to Con Ed for this investment in our borough. And let me be the first to say, I know all of us like to take shots at Con Edison when we get our electric bill. Matter of fact, recently I told my son, unplug the clocks, because you can't tell time in your sleep. But I think we really need to sit back here and appreciate this investment for what it is, a major step forward in our mission to make Queens a clean energy hub. Because I know we're all sick of Astoria being asthma alley, and today we send a very clear message to the residents of Astoria, to Queensbridge, to Ravenswood, to Woodside, that your lives matter, that Clean air is a human right, and we, today we start to correct the wrongs, as Rory alluded to. We're all sick of being the poster children for environmental injustice and systemic disinvestment. We're all sick of literally getting sick because of these fossil fuel plants in our communities. It takes all of us working together to make that mission possible, and that includes companies like Con Ed. So, Thank you to the entire team, to the men and women who made this possible, to Labor Local One. Thank you. Thank you. So it's about good jobs as well. We don't like just any jobs in Queens. We like good jobs. So I look forward to continuing to working with each and every one of you to combat climate change. And happy birthday to our Environmental Protection Chairman. I think I call him up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it is his 25th birthday. <laughs> All right, he's as old as the Pika plants, probably. <laughs> but I love him. A man who just phased out number four oil in the city council. My good friend, Chairman Jim Gennaro. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Borough President. Am I coming through out there? It's okay? Is it okay? Really? You can hear me? Okay, that's good. 
Borough President Richards, I thank him. Now, Tim and Rory, I can just call Tim and Rory because they don't give me money, you know, but the, the Borough President gives me lots of money for my district. He was a great environmental chairman, you know, in his day. And, um, and today on my 66th birthday, I see this little kind of grandma furniture here. And I'm wondering if there's anything in the drawer. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Okay, whatever. I will remember that. We got muffins. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Jamie McShane, my good friend, said if I didn't come today, he was going to revoke my confirmation name. I don't know where he gets that authority from, whatever, but uh, it's Christopher. He, he even knew it. He even knew it. No, he, he didn't threaten to revoke anything. He's a great friend for a long time. And, you know, Con Ed and Local One are a great friend to the people of Queens and, and, and to the people of New York City. Now, we've... This is my, I just entered my fifth decade of public service. All I ever wanted to do was make environmental public policy. I went to school, I did all this, I got all my degrees or whatever, and then I started with the council in 1990 as a staff member, and then I cut loose working with the committee, then I got the chair for 12 years, did a bunch of stuff, then went away to DEC for a while. I don't like that so much, so I came back. Um, but um, you know what we're talking about today is a great leap forward in getting to you know 70% renewable by by 2030, a 100% renewable by 2040, and and, and all the things that Donovan and I and everyone else in the council does that you know that past that that the past we, we did the you know um, gas bend bill in 20 in 2021 that make new buildings all you know fully electric, so we're doing everything we can. But in doing that, we're really calling upon Con Ed to really kind of, you know, make sure it all happens. It doesn't happen without the good men and women here and the people standing behind me. And so it's really, um, anything I didn't cover? Oh, 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 by the way, I have my electric car parked over there. It's an electric car. So I plugged it in. I got my heat pumps going at the house, you know. Talked to my wife before I came here. I said, I'm going to Con Ed. And she says, like, how long are you going to be out for? I said, the whole time. And so it's like a trick answer, okay? <laughs> That's to get your wife to not ask you certain questions, you know what I mean? It's just like give them trick answers, they stop asking, you know? And so um, I'm going to be here all week, okay? Um, but, you know, just... The best part of my job is coming to events like this where good men and women put their time and talent on the line. You know, you know, you know, union workers do what they need to do to make sure that they pave the way for a brighter, greener, more electric future that is, that is really going to pay dividends to our, to our you know, grandchildren and we give them the, the, the kind of environment and the climate that they need and certainly deserve. Thank you all very much for having me here. Happy birthday to me. Thank you all very much.